Uh, one last question. Um, I don't know. I have a uh, uh, a regular knife and a wooden knife. Would that go together? Again, you might want to check the. Uh, you may want to check the the flat, the flat file. file on that for knives. Maybe there's a material type variation. To but me, it wouldn't be a color. Sound... It wouldn't be. A it color. wouldn't be a color. That's yeah, for sure. absolutely. I have a question. Yo. So we have all, uh, some cases where co- clients come to us, um, and they're suspended. Their listing is suspended. They used. Uh, a word wrong. Uh, they didn't know that it was actually turned out that it was a trademark. Uh, they didn't use it as a trademark, but uh, lo and behold, uh, the brand uh, complained and Amazon took him down. Uh, they want to create, to change and edit. They have no problem removing that word. Um, they come to editing the listing on the Seller Central, and it's gray. And it won't, you can't, you, you, set, you do save, but nothing happens. How do you do a change that would what happens if your listing is suspended would you go to a flat file would that make any difference what's the difference between editing on seller central versus editing with a flat file when you edit in seller central it's it's considered a partial update they you will put it in but especially if the listing is down if you can edit it if it's down um it, it won't necessarily be seen on the back end um so if you the the power of doing a flat file, especially especially when in this instance when when you have an IP complaint and the the listing is is down and you'll get you'll often get a bug saying you cannot sell this in refurbished condition. That has been something that's been pretty consistent over the years. That the first time I saw it, I was like, but we're not trying to sell it in refurbished format. Um, you're just basically blocked from editing through Seller Central. So the best way to to deal with that is to do a full update via a flat file. Um, and once you do that, you won't be able to see the changes, but they will be able to see it on the back end. They'll give they you a nice. Is Amazon. Yes, Amazon will be able to see it on the back end. You'll get a nice batch ID, which is evidence that you have updated your listings. Um, and you know, if worse comes to worse, you can discuss it with catalog team. So uh, when you do the plan of action and and explain that you didn't know it was a trademark and you're so, so, so sorry, um, you provide the batch ID as part of your plan of action to show that you've implemented the changes and that you've taken action? That is the best way, in my opinion. Okay, so even if you don't see it on your end, batch ID means that in the back end, Amazon is able to see it. You might want to include the changes as well in the plan of action, but uh, the batch ID shows that you followed through. Okay. 